As the Iranian talks entered a key stage late last week, word came from Tehran that Pastor Benham Irani has been granted temporary release from prison. The Islamic Republic reportedly is also set free another pastor from prison two years ahead of his scheduled release. Here with more details and to help us sort all of this out is CBN News Chief International Correspondent Gary Lane. Great to have you on the broadcast. So, be Pastor Benham has been released, given temporary release. Yes. What does this mean? Well, it means for only two weeks. Uh, he'll have to return to prison on the 19th of July. So, he was out ar around the 4th of July on our okay. Independence Day, and he'll have to go back. So, help me understand this. Why is, why is he's been in there for quite some time? Yes, he On has. what charges? Well, the charges have been against Iranian national security. Mm -hmm. But in reality, what that really means is he was a house church leader and was leading many Muslims to Christ. And the Islamic Republic views that, as you know, George, mm -hmm. as a threat against their rule and against the country. And he's going to go back? Yeah, I mean, there's had, no, you, no doubt he's going to go back. He paid a $40,000 bond okay. that was required for him to assure that he would return to prison. Okay. Now, my understanding is that there is another pastor set to be uh, released. Yes. What are the details Farshid about him? Farshid Fatih. Okay. And Farshid Fatih has been in prison since December 2010. Another house church leader, same type of charges against him. Mm -hmm. And what the Iranian government is now saying, reportedly, is that he will be freed uh, this December, two years ahead of his scheduled release. Help us sort this out. Do you think it, uh, either of these two cases are tied to these nuclear, ongoing nuclear negotiations in Iran? Well, it's interesting, isn't it? Because you always have to look, when you look at the Middle East, you have to look at timing. Not necessarily what people say, but what they actually do. Mm -hmm. And the timing of this was interesting. When, when you look at Benham Irani, uh, he was released on the 4th of July, yeah. America's Independence Day. And then shortly after that, the announcement that this other pastor, Farshid Fatih, will be released two years earlier. Mm -hmm. So you have to wonder, is this a sign of goodwill? Uh, has there been pressure put on Iran to do this as a part of the nuclear talks? Yeah. We don't know for certain, but it could be. One of the individuals that we have reported on quite uh, uh, frequently here on yes. CBN News is the case of Pastor Saeed Abedini, an American-Iranian pastor. Yes. Uh, good news for these other pastors, but not so good news for uh, Pastor I, uh, Abedini. Yeah, there, Any chance he could be released? There has not been one word uh, about Pastor uh, Saeed Abedini. And I think, George, the reason for mm -hmm. that is he is considered the big bargaining chip. Okay. So if there's concessions that Iran wants, they said, look, we'll, we'll let him go, but you have to give us something. So no one knows for certain if this is part of the nuclear talks, yeah. but you can bet they probably are. And on that subject, do you, do you, do you sense that with a potential deal at hand that the yeah. crackdown on the, on the underground church in, in, in Iran will uh, decrease or increase? You know, the Iranians are master negotiators, and I think this is just a sign of good will to get concessions that they're looking for at this point in time. Mm -hmm. But in the long term, no, it's not going to make, it make a bit of difference. They feel threatened by the Ben Amiranis and the Farshid Fatis out there, the house church leaders who are transforming their society yeah. by leading people to Christ. Well, this could be a very, very important week yes. as it relates to the nuclear negotiations in Iran, uh, in Vienna with the United States and other countries. A key Gary, week. A key week. Yes. Gary, as always, sir, thank you for your sure. insights. Glad to be